Yeah? Jody. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan. I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. Right? He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah. Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. So far, so good. Use a walk.
All right, add the sake for flavor. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Books, okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Play too. Right. The trash can in the kitchen. Dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass.
Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. Do you like it? Classic, elegant, je ne sais quoi. Classy. It's the new me, and it shows that I can adapt to any situation. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Jody. Okay, just calm down. There's no need to panic. You're gonna be great. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. Hi. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> Pull up 
apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. Want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> Oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brother still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. oh. Did you get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. And, uh... I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. You know, the action, travel, adventure. <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. You know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> you need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Asian beef, right? Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up, because this is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what, what two years? I mean, almost nothing about you. Well, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me. And, well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So. Yeah, you know, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. 
really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now, listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you um? Are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean I, I I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for two years, and uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. I has got nothing to do with this. I'm sorry. No, I, I thought you... No. No, it's not... It's... I, I'm, it's my fault. I'm... I just... I, I, I can't. I'm... you wanted. Yeah, I know it's not your fault. I completely freaked out. He's gonna think I'm an idiot. I am such a fucking idiot. You know, you were right. Maybe it's just not my type. I wonder if anyone else. I've always got you, I deny. Right? 